Hello, Patrick Sieber here and thank you for stopping by the Sieber Consulting blog. Today you're going to be introduced to Microsoft's Rich Copy Utility. It's a great way for you to back up your data and it's free. Let's get started, shall we? All right. Now, as I mentioned in my blog post, I'm looking for utilities that usually follow reasonable characteristics. Portable, flexible, can be automated. They're lean, they don't take a lot of resources. They're fast at what they're doing and free. So Rich Copy falls into all of those. Let's just very briefly explore it and then we'll go ahead and make a file that we can go ahead and create. Uh, we're going to briefly explore the options that are available and how to make a command line file that will run the backup for you when you double click it or you can take that file and put it into scheduled tasks and have it run at predetermined times when the computer's on. Here we go. First thing we want to do is check where our data is. Now I already went through this and, and found some data and it looks kind of like this. It'll show you your local drive C, other drives on your system, and I selected about, it's less than 300 megs here to copy for a test. And where we want it to go is a test directory on my image drive. I actually have the Thermaltake Black X hard drive dock station and it's hooked up via eSATA to the system so that it'll do rapid copies and it really does do rapid copies. I'm very pleased with the purchase and it's under 40 bucks. So we're going to go ahead and select the target and that's going to be the test copy and then say OK. Those are now set but we're going to look at the actions and we could simply start at this point but I wanted to show you your copy options and some of the changes I made. Now by default it's showing you an overview here and I changed the thread numbers to a little bit higher values. I think they were set to four for each of these and because my system has eight gigs of RAM and a quad processor I went ahead and bumped those up a bit and you know what? It just runs so fast, it's crazy. You can also do process control, which is very similar to where we were, but it more focuses on the individual threads, cache sizes. You can also go in and manipulate file attributes if you need to. By default, it takes the file attributes, which is system, hidden, read-only, or, or archive attributes. If you don't know what those are, just make sure this is checked on and you're good to go. Timestamp, that's always a good thing. Then you have your options of files that you want to include, files you want to exclude, and then others. Now, others is a cool little, little screen because this is where it throws us our command line parameters. And this is precisely what we need to go ahead and put into a text file, name it as a command file, and then we can execute it on our system and have the backup run. Let's do that now. I'm going to open up a notepad. All right. Now we come down here and we go ahead and copy it. And then we paste it in here. And then all we need to do is put rich copy right here. I uh, don't even need exe. I'll prove it to you in a minute here. Then we're going to save it as Seaver Consulting Blog Test Copy. Now, where did it go? There it is. Now, notice it says TXT. So we're going to rename this file. We're going to rename it to dot cmd. That'll make it in an executable file. Now it's telling me if you change an extension it might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. Alright. Now we'll go ahead and close this and we'll close this 
Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and double click this file and let it run. And it does open a little box over here. That's the command line box. And notice it's running precisely 10 threads, copying like crazy. Currently it's copied 42 megs and it's running close to 5 megs per second. I know it's about 270 under 300. You can see we're almost halfway done. Notice how as it finds files it can copy, it goes ahead and expands the number of threads it can use. Start at 5, 19 p.m. And it should be wrapping up here in just another minute or so. Look at her go. Works great across the network too. That's one of the jobs I run on a nightly basis is I copy data from my work system here off to my network file server and it's quick. I didn't even get to see how long it took. But you can see that's pretty fast. Now here we're going to go ahead and run it again. I'm not going to make any changes to it, but a normal backup might not do it quite as quick as this guy's going to do it here. Don't blink, huh? So it is a very useful utility. It's smart enough to know that the data matches, there's been no changes, so it doesn't need to do anything. So the backup's completed and you're back into gaming. You can see I don't have Left for Dead on my system or anything like that. I never play games. But um, you can see that it's fast, it knows what it's doing, and it's over done with, and you're back to life as soon as possible. So it's a great little utility. It's free, combined with your old hard drive, and one of those thermal take or even Rose Will hard drive docks. Uh, it makes life so much faster, so much easier, and you're leveraging a resource you already have for $40, rich copy, an old hard drive, the Thermaltake or Rosewill Black X dock stations are awesome. Hope that helps you out. Make it a great weekend.